Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video and we're going to talk about beating supply cups. So, there's two extremely important things to know about supply cups. Number one, they're a quarter mile, so you need to find a car that can easily beat your quarter mile's dyno time because the supply cup goes by your car's dyno time. It doesn't matter if your car runs a 10 second quarter mile or a 30 second quarter mile, as long as it beats dyno time, the supply cup is going to be easy. Now, usually, whatever manufacturer this season's prestige cup car is for, is the manufacturer the supply cups are going to be. And the cool thing is, like, for example, this, this season it's BMW. Next season it's going to be Maserati. So next season, you'll be able to use any Maserati in the supply cup, just like this season, I can use any BMW. Now, the M5 competition is this season's prestige cup car, and on stage 5, this car is extremely hard to beat dyno time with. Now, you might be able to figure out how to tune this car for the quarter mile and make it beat dyno. I actually don't know if it beats dyno for the quarter mile or not. I know it doesn't for the half mile. For the half mile, it is hard to beat dyno. But I know for a fact that Amelia's LBM4 Coupe beats dyno time on the quarter mile. So, since I can choose any BMW, I'm going to pick the one for the supply cup that I know for a fact easily beats the quarter mile dyno time. So I'm going to run it with LB, Amelia's LBM4 Coupe. Now I know on stage 6, if you, can, if you can max out the M5 competition, that car really beats dyno time nicely, but on stage 5, it's almost impossible. So that would be a really bad car to use for the prestige cup all right so i'm just going to go ahead and blow through this so no matter what it doesn't matter if you're a tier three tier four tier five car all right as long as your car beats dyno time you're easily going to be able to blow through the pers the uh supply cups no problem all right i'm going to have no problem doing all 25 races because this car this car actually beats the dyno time by like two tenths of a second there I screwed it up. I should have run an 8.2 something. And the dyno time on this car for the quarter mile is like an 8.4 something. So this, this somewhere between two and three tenths of a second, this thing will just blow through the dyno like it's nothing. So this is easily going to beat the supply cups. Now let's just say you don't have next season's prestige cup car. Like I said, next season is going to be a Maserati. And even if you don't have the particular Maserati that is this that is this prestige cup car, as long as you have some sort of Maserati, you're gonna be able to do the supply cups. Alright, now check this out. Look how much RP these supply cups give out. It's like 32,500. That's like that's like doing 30 winning 32 live races in a day with with a car that gets like a thousand or so points per win on live racing. So, even if you don't have the Prestige Cup car, like, I can use any BMW, which is awesome. So, let's just say I wasn't able to get this season's Prestige Cup car. I'd still be able to compete in this because I've got a lot of BMWs. And you know what? Almost everybody has some sort of BMW unless you're brand, brand new. And even then you might because there's a BMW you can buy right in the dealership. You can use that if you want it. But look at these rewards, all right? So, just remember... These guys always go by the quarter mile, and they go by your dyno time. Like I said, at least I think I said, it doesn't matter if your car runs a 10 second quarter mile, a 5 second quarter mile, or a 30 second quarter mile. As long as your car is beating dyno, you're going to have no problem blowing through the, the uh, prestige, the supply cup, okay? Supply cups are nice because they give out parts, and they give out huge amounts of respect points. So even if you didn't get the Prestige Cup car this season, you should still have no problem blowing through this. All right, so that's pretty much the deal. I'm not going to sit here and do all 25 races because most people probably aren't going to watch that. At least I wouldn't think. And I think that pretty much wraps this video up. So remember, these are always quarter miles, so you might want to try and tune your car. If you, if you do have a car, let's just say my M5 was the only car I had to use, and it's not beating dyno. Well... I don't know if it beats dyno on the quarter mile or not. I know it's impossible to beat dyno on the half mile. But I could always try and tune the car differently to make it to make it beat dyno time on the quarter mile. 
I might have to sit there and just play with it for 20 or 30 minutes before I get it to beat Dino, or maybe it would easily beat Dino on the quarter mile. I'm not sure, but if you if if you only have you know only have say one car and you can't get it to beat Dino, play with the tune. Maybe you'll figure out something. Even if if you, even if you make the car really slow you might be able to figure out somehow some sort of tune to make that car beat the dyno time so you can do the supply cup, all right? So I think that pretty much wraps this video up, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.